Yes, from the fans at the time. We'll look at how the business deal turned out. And it's Thomas the Tank Engine's 70th birthday. Happy birthday to him. We'll talk to the man who is the voice of Thomas. It's 6.55 and he's probably featured on millions of birthday cakes and cards over the years. But now it's time to say happy birthday in return to this man. Not a man, not a train, of course. It's 70 years today since the Reverend Wilbert Audrey published his first railway series book. The second one featured probably the most famous character, Thomas the Tank Engine, which Lewis later turned into a TV series. Thomas is a tank engine who lives at a big station on the island of Sodor. He's a cheeky little engine with six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler and a short stumpy dome. Ah, uh, the lovely voice of Ringo Beautiful. Starr, yeah. one of the most famous narrators of Thomas the Tank Engine. But the man, Nicky, currently in the job when he's not being Corey's Adrian Atkins is Mark Morahan. Morning, Mark. Good morning. Good friend of mine. Hey, well, how are you doing? Nice to speak not to you. Bad. You too. Uh, Mark, how long have you been doing this one for? Well, I started in uh, 2013, so I'm just coming into my third year. And when they approached you for it, was there any doubt in your mind that um, you would want to take over the voice of a character like Thomas? Mm, absolutely not, no. My, my agent rang me and said, listen, um, would you be interested in going for an audition to, to be the new storyteller for Thomas? I went, yes. And, um, <laughs> that was that. It, it was a long old process because I think they interviewed every scouse actor on the planet. But um, <laughs> I, they put me through the mill to get there, but it was worth it. You know, it's such a, a fantastic um, um, uh, programme to be involved in. Yeah, and why has that TV series always been associated with the Liverpool accent? Well, I think because... Uh, Ringo Starr was <clears throat> the very first storyteller and, you know, ex Beatle, you know, I mean, I think it just seemed to work really well. And, and I think they, because it's so, so firmly rooted in the past, I think not a lot of people like change. So Michael Angelis came along and he kind of was very similar to Ringo Starr in, in, in his style of delivery. So, so I think it kind of stuck from then, really. And it's the kind of gentle dryness of the delivery, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I saw Les Dennis at the BAFTAs the other night. He was singing your praises, saying how how brilliant you were in, in Coronation Street. I felt sick. I felt sick he was being so nice about you. you know? <laughs> no, he's great, lads. We, we go way back. We did the uh, panto and stuff together, and, and we've been friends for, for a number of years, so, so that was nice. How was Corey? Great, loved it. Absolutely loved it. It's, um, it's just been, again, you know, an iconic show, and... And turning up on the first day and going into the Rovers and, and uh, walking down the street, we just had to kick myself. It was weird, yeah. It was great fun, though. And a lovely bunch. I've had such a great time there. And when you're dealing with kind of iconic brands like Corrie and like Thomas, there's a heck of a responsibility that goes with that. What about the Thomas fans? Do they ever associate you with the TV series? Uh, what, with, uh, what, with Thomas itself? Yeah, did, do people, I mean, do people ever come up to you and go, ah, oh, you're the voice of Thomas? Oh, uh, well, there's a big. I've got quite a big following on Twitter of Thomas fans, ah. and they know, and adults as well, and they know everything there is to know about Thomas. You, you can't pull the wool well, over your eyes. You but... have got the most amazing voice, singing voice, speaking well, voice. Well, well, of course, we did an album together, didn't we, mate? Yeah. So you know, <laughs> uh, which is still available in the shop. You know, <laughs> <you> see, but <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. I digress. <laughs> What was the question? <laughs> I don't think it matters anymore, Mark. <laughs> Nicky's got what he wanted out of you. No, he has, no, he has. <laughs> Great to talk to you. Thank you so much, Mark Morahan, uh, who is the voice of Thomas the Tank Engine, uh, formerly of Corey. Formerly.